Jenny Stevens, followed by Jordana Dusenman and David Pucci. Um, I'm a professor at the University of Vermont with expertise in climate change and renewable energy innovation. And as a faculty member, I have a joint appointment in the Rubenstein School of Environment and Natural Resources and the College of Engineering and Mathematical Sciences. And I'm new to Vermont this year. Um, urgency in responding to the growing threats of climate change requires that the state of Vermont accelerate and encourage renewable energy deployment. The state should not take steps that could create additional barriers that could slow down solar development. Solar energy offers clean electricity that is essential for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, building more resilient, stable, and local energy systems. One challenge of the development of renewable energy is that many of us are not accustomed to seeing our energy infrastructure on our landscape. We plug in our computers and our phones but we do not know where the electricity is coming from, and often it has been coming from far away, large-scale power plants. But with the powerful opportunities and benefits of local, distributed, clean, renewable energy right here in Vermont, we now have to get familiar with solar installations on our landscape as we connect our energy use with local generation. So to maintain its leadership in energy innovation, to move away from fossil fuel reliance, to expand job opportunities in renewable energy, the state of Vermont needs to accept, facilitate, support, and encourage renewable energy projects, in particular solar energy. Thank you. <laughs>